today I want to teach you guys how to use what I think is the best mixer on planet Earth for content creators, for podcasters, for streamers, etc. I think it's the best piece of equipment. I have recommended this uh, particular mixer uh, to hundreds and hundreds of creators across YouTube, uh, across uh, Amazon, across all my social media platforms. And zero people I have recommended this mixer to have been dissatisfied with it. Uh, just a disclosure here, Rode gave me the mixer. I'm going to demo it for you live here. Rode gave me this mixer for free two years ago or so. But So this is not a sponsored stream. So if it sounds like it's sponsored, it is not at all. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to use the Rodecaster Pro mixer, the best mixer on the market today for creators, and how to do effects how to hook up microphones, how to use compressors. And by the time you finish watching what we're putting together today, you will have a much greater understanding of how audio works and how you can improve your audio situation, whether you're using this particular mixer or not. So I'm excited to go over that. And of course, I'll be answering all of your questions right here. I'm reading every single one of your questions on my phone. So feel free to ask any audio questions as we go through the demo. Pretty sweet setup, right? Just going to be showing you guys the Rodecaster Pro Mixer live as I use it live and as I program all of the software right here on today's broadcast. I'm really excited to do this one uh, because I received so many questions about this mixer because there's so many fancy buttons on there. What <laughs> are you supposed to do, right? Cool. So let's just start from the beginning. Let's start with how you configure microphones with the Rodecaster Pro. Okay? So... You can configure and hook up microphones with the Rodecaster Pro very easily through the simple set of menus that they have available on the mixer itself. So in the first demo that I'll do today, this is the Rode Procaster microphone right here that I've got already hooked up to the mixer. And I'm going to show you the menus that you'll want to go through as you're hooking up this particular microphone to this mixer. Cool? So let's switch right over. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your microphone into the XLR jack of the channel that you desire. There are four channels here, one, two, three, four, that you can plug in your microphones to directly in the back. What do I mean by that? See the little XLR cables here in the back? One, two, three, four. You plug it into the corresponding channel, and then you'll be able to set up your microphone on the mixer side from there. So I've got this particular microphone plugged into channel one. So what we're going to do is press the channel one button, and then we're going to go through a set of uh, setup to do this microphone correctly. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when you press channel one, it's going to bring you to this menu, is you're going to want to select the microphone of your choice. Now, as you can see, Rode microphones are built in to this particular mixer, and so you can select exactly the microphone that you have if you have a Rode mic. So for this one in particular, we're going to select the Rode Pro. And here, the, the dynamics of the audio just changed as soon as I hit that button. You can do other microphones from other brands, and we'll go over that in just a moment uh, when I set those up. But the Rode mics are particularly configured for this mixer for maximum audio quality. Once you select your microphone, then the next stop is going to be level. Here, what you're going to do is you're going to put the microphone in your broadcasting position. So let me show you where mine is at. Put it in broadcasting position. Depending on your mic, if you have a dynamic microphone like this one, you'll want to have it as close to your mouth as possible. Maybe thumbs up distance away from your mouth with a thumbs up between you and the mic. For other microphones, you may want to do hang 10 distance. You can select the distance, but put it where it's going to be when you're broadcasting before you do this next step. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to go here into this levels menu and you're going to talk like you do when you're broadcasting. So hi everyone, my name is AWOL and I am a digital consultant. I help people make better decisions with their technology every single day. So as you can see here, the levels, want to, you want them to be in the green as you can see here inside of that little green area right there. And you see how mine are kind of toward the middle but not quite sticking in the middle all the time. So what I'm going to want to do is I am going to crank up the levels on this just a notch or two until on average, my vocals are in the middle of this green area, but they are not exceeding the green area. 
That's where you want it to be. You want to be in the middle of the green area, but not exceeding the green area ever, even when you get excited, okay? So that's what you're going to do there. So then once that's all set up, then you'll be in great shape to be able to have the proper levels on your microphone to get everything done. Cool? Beautiful.